helping out on the J-Ray channel. Cuban chicken with chimichurri. Looks great. Now where's my ingredients? Let's get started. What I love about the Green Chef is all of its products come pre-packaged and sometimes pre-prepared. Alright, for step number one, we're going to need red bell pepper. So we're going to cut the red bell pepper into lengthwise strips about a quarter inch thick. You know the magic word. Chop! Perfect. In all my excitement to do that chop, I forgot a step. Cut them in half. Now we need a yellow onion. Now I've peeled the onion. Recipe calls for half of an onion. Now the recipe says to only use one half of the onion and put the other half away for another use. So there's our onion. And you know what we're going to do. Dice! Perfect. And now we're going to move all the onion over to the other side of the cutting board <laughs> so we can make room for our snap peas. <laughs> and now time for the snap peas. We're just going to simply half these. Then roughly chop cabbage. Or if you got it from the Green Chef, it's already done. For the next step, we need our chicken cutlets. They're gonna be messy. Now we're gonna gently pat the chicken dry with a paper towel. Now we're gonna apply the Cuban spice blend. Salt. And pepper. Calls for about a quarter teaspoon of each. And flip. And do it again. Pepper, salt, more pepper, fat, now we need our saute pan. Turn that heat up to medium, and let's get going. Now we're going to add about a teaspoon of cooking oil, and to be healthy, I like to use olive oil. Now that the pan's getting nice and hot, we're going to add our chicken. So we're going to cook this for about four to six minutes on each side. And a special shout out to the sponsors that provided us with this new copper plated pan. Thanks, Mom. Now that chicken's looking amazing. Look at that. Now I believe that chicken's done. So we're going to remove it from the heat. And we're going to get it right in with our onions and a bell pepper. Then add about a quarter teaspoon of salt. I just kind of go by still on everything. And a pinch of pepper. I got big pinches. Spicy. Now we're going to let this cook for about three to five minutes. 
sure everything softens up really good. Okay, so everything's starting to soften up really nice. It's been about three or four minutes now. And we're going to add snap peas and the cabbage. And then we add my dear friend, butter. And we're going to cook this for about two minutes until everything's nice and tender. And next step says add pepitas, or Spanish for pumpkin seeds. And we're going to cook this for about another minute. In the meantime, we've set our cooked chicken to the side to rest, and we're going to cut that up into about five or six pieces per breast. And you know how we're going to do that. Chop! Terrific. No, I really wasn't going to make you not get to watch this. Look how tender that is. So good. So juicy. This falls apart. Look at that. Now we're going to move the sauteed vegetables to a plate. Spread it out and add the chicken. A little secret they don't tell you in the instructions or the chicken juice is back on. Now we're going to drizzle the creamy chimichurri with avocado mayo sauce all over the top of that. Mm, mm, mm. And then last of all, we're going to sprinkle cotija cheese right on top. Oh, that looks delicious. I know you're getting hungry. I'm starved. All right, that's it, guys. Cuban chicken with chimichurri. It's time to go dig in. Y'all have a great night. See you next time. This cotija cheese tastes like wet parmesan. <laughs> I could have made that myself. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video and share this channel with all your friends. Do it.